Et là, un là, bon, l'Egyptien, bon, qu'a pu dire. How much people ever heard about the Egyptian book of the dead? If you're not into your African history and your African spirituality, you might not have heard about the Egyptian book of the dead. No. The Egyptian book of the dead is a much older book than the Bible. It was the book that created wrong and right in the Egyptian society, Egyptian culture. It is a certain amount of laws and regulations that is designed to keep the people them intact and in tune with them culture. So they create this book, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. And in that book it has certain laws that regulate and define the people them. Now, when we hear about Moses and all these people, and them say Moses gave the Ten Commandments, Moses gave ten commandments out of those 42 what them call negative confessions. You have to find that book. It named the Egyptian Book of the Dead. One of them most popular one is by Wallace Budge. You can't find it. But why I bringing up this? I bringing up this because when we look on the ideas of people right now and what them hold fast to, and we feel say it's European ideas. The Ten Commandments is just part of 42. What was in Egypt? How we know that? We know that because when you look on the Bible and it says, Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill was not framed by Moses in the Bible. Because Moses himself, according to the story, kill a man and run away. Why him run away? Because it was said in Egypt, Thou shalt not kill. It's just that. This thing I said, thou shalt not, which is the Ten Commandments. In the negative confessions, he say, not have I. So you put in the thing upon you, instead of you separate yourself from what is happening. You say, not have I this, not have I that. In the Ten Commandments, he said, thou shalt not. So you do have no way of defining what you shall not do or do. And we have this balance. The Mahat, the Mahat defines how far you can get in a level of consciousness. It is represented by a woman with a feather. And when you are, we stand up on the scale and to put the feather upon the other part of the scale, if the scale tip, it means there's something wrong with you. So you have to go over and start over again. We say, if you are fit enough, to pass that gate of consciousness and, and, and righteousness. We don't have that. We don't have that because people do anything and say, I'm saved. People dip in the water and say, I'm saved. Because they're baptized. Oh, the hell you can go dip in the water and say, you're saved. No, you have to have something inside of you that is guiding you. We call it conscience and consciousness. You have to make the, the law be you rather than re written from paper, continuously written from paper. Thou shalt not steal, not buy stolen. When you put it by yourself, it have more effect than if you say, you must steal. You don't hear nobody come and say, boy, me must steal, you know. Maybe your teacher pity them, but you who are getting the law say, you must steal, you are telling the people, are you saying that I must not steal, therefore I won't want my child to steal? That is the Egyptian way of saying, look here, what is wrong and what is right. And it all twined up into the culture, not into some weird thing. They don't separate spirituality from culture. Culture is what defines a people. And all other things come out of culture. No care where you are one want to say. The Arab them tell the woman must do this and do that. It's a culture. It has nothing to do with religion. Because you have some people say religion over there. You have some denomination that call themselves religious. But when you define it, it's coming out of a culture. So depending on who you are, where you are, and what identity DNA you have, that culture defines you. You know, in Arabia, man has said, them say, woman must go to a road by herself. That is not no. Islam, that is culture. 
the one in Africa, a man have 20, 30 wife. That is not religion. That is culture. Because that culture might not define and next set of people. So culture is the basis of all human existence and foundation. And we have to understand it from that level. So when we set laws, like how them set it in Egypt, it's not that them setting it to define a religion. The negative confession is not a religious perspective. It's a cultural expression of a people that is keeping them society intact. And that is how we must look upon the laws them. Not as religious laws, but as laws that define a people in them cultural expression, in a them environment. All right. <laughs>